Hey everyone, this is Russell Holly with Geek.com, and we've got an HTC One here that's a little different from some of the others you may have seen. It's not a Google Play edition. Uh, it's actually running a leaked build of Android 4.2.2 with Sense 5. And as you can see, there's already some small differences, but then you've got this big one here. You've got the quick actions from Android 4.2.2 you can take a look you've got here nice big buttons that you can use to enable and disable quick settings and then you can of course travel into just the regular settings menu to drill down on some other features uh, in the display area here we've actually got some home button control now so you can you can use your home button as a menu button and we'll activate that real quick here the idea is that you would swipe up for Google Now, you can't swipe up in the middle there, you have to swipe up from the home button, but you swipe up from the home button very specifically and it'll take you to Google Now. Uh, so the, it's kind of like what you would get with a vanilla Android experience, but instead of swiping from the middle, you're swiping from home. Uh, if you open any application or go to do anything, you can also press and hold the home button and you'll turn on your menu. So that little menu button that's on the bottom for apps that haven't updated to the latest Android user interface, uh, you no longer have that floating menu button anymore. You can now press and hold the menu button if you have this feature enabled and it will uh, hit the menu button for you. If you take a quick look, these uh, expanded little options here uh, also have little menu buttons next to them. If you tap the menu buttons next to them, it'll take you directly to that setting instead of just uh, to the settings menu or instead of just enabling or disabling that particular feature. Uh, and because this is running Android 4.2.2, we've also got the new expanded notifications. So they're not just notifications that are you know expandable in certain areas but they're also interactive now so if you've got google plus notifications you can plus one or reply straight from uh, the the taskbar there or you can you know take a look at your music and everything you've got there is completely controllable just like you would expect from a normal uh, vanilla android experience taking you back into the sense features uh, especially in highlights now, we've got a few extra options for audio uh, fade in and, and you know just a little tiny bit more control with the highlights function. This works best if you've taken a bunch of Zoe's or photos at the end of an event. You can go and select the ones that you like and it'll set them up. But now you have a lot more options. Uh, each one of these little blocks at the bottom is music and kind of fade in tones, uh, little filters and stuff like that. Uh, and there's more of them here. So it's it's just little tiny updates, but a big deal overall. Thanks for watching.